In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my image. And I use this technique on all my cover design. So I'm going to show you the before. So here's the before. Here's the after. Before image, after. So yeah, I use this on all my cover design. It's uh, pretty easy. Is um, First you sharpen the image. Then you do some smudge into the skin. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Yesterday I put out a tutorial on how to create actions for um, sharpening your image. So in that tutorial, I showed you how to do the micro, small, medium, and a uh, high sharpen. If you haven't watched that tutorial, um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description or somewhere on this uh, video. You can go back and watch that, learn how to create this. But if you're on my Patreon, you could, um, download this and uh, install it but let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and hit control J make a copy and I'm gonna go down here to micro sharpen I'm gonna click on play it's gonna create a, a micro sharpen go back down to layer one Just click on small sharpen click on play and I'm gonna zoom in just to show you how it looks so here's the before after and you can see sharpen the image and I'm going here to layer one click on the medium click on play should apply that click on layer one go to high click on play and that sharpen it much more so here's the before after so now I'm gonna select all these layer and I'm hit control G to group it and I'm going to save this one the original as the uh, master copy I'm going to go here and I'm going to see if I need all four or I just need one or two I like the look of that medium sharpen looks good so I'm going to use the high medium and small sharpen I'm just name this main. So I'll make a copy of this. So I'm hit Control J, and then for this one, I'm hit Control E to merge it. So we flatten all the layers inside here into one. Again, we have our original, and we have this to come back to. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this. All right. Now I'm going to create a new document. I'm hit control N for new and when I do my covers I like to do them in 1600 by 1600 resolution 300 I'm gonna click create everything else just leave it the same RGB color 8-bit now let's go to Windows go back to this one that we were working on I'm gonna right click this and I'm gonna bring it into our new document. Click OK. I'm gonna save this, close this. We don't need this no more. Now I like to do all my sharpening in the original file, which um, we was working on earlier. But when I start doing the uh, cover design, I like to design it in the actual 1600 by 1600. Now I'm gonna hit usually I crop it, then I bring it in, but I'm going to hit control T, bring the size of it down. I'm going to hold shift. So I want the image about maybe right there. Now we're going to do the actual um, cleaning, touching up the uh, skin. First tool I like to use is the spot healing. Zoom in. Just do a quick cleaning here. Bring the size of it down. Maybe here. But today we're just going to focus on the skin. Now, any spots you want to clean, just go ahead and uh, spot heal it like this.
No, I think that's looking good. Now I'm gonna zoom out. Now to clean the skin, it's pretty easy. We're gonna hit Control J. And then we're going to change the blending mode, or not the blending, mo blending mode, but the uh, opacity to 33. And I'm going to bring back the main image. And I'm going to go to the smudge tool, bring the size of it down, maybe about right there. And the strength, I'm going to do 40. So here's the image that we're going to edit. So this is the one at 33. Opacity, I'm going to rename that. Just rename that main. Now we want to smudge only the uh, the main layer. So you go in, clean it up kind of like that. And if you want to bring back some more details, just go to, to this one. Bring it up maybe about 50. Do 50. 50 looks good. Go back to the main image. And just keep on smudging. Bring the side of the brush down. That's looking good. Save that. All right, so without the uh, layer here at 50%, it looks like this when you smudge it. Maybe I got to finish that. Let's do that real quick. So without this layer, you can see it looks all nasty. It's all like uh, distorted and stuff. So when you bring that back and you can bring the size of it not the size of it, the opacity, maybe 60, save that, but if you keep this at 100, you see the skin's kind of harsh, so bring it back to 60, save that, so yeah, that's how I uh, edit my image, first I apply some type of sharpen to it, then I take it into a new document and apply the uh, smudge tool. So yeah, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Um, if you have any suggestion for other tutorials, just let me know also in the comments. And again, thanks for watching.